have to do this with the um, mask on.
Good evening, welcome to the University of Worcester Arena, live with us here on the Worcester Wolves YouTube channel. Well, it's been quite a week with only one story dominating the worldwide news agenda. And I speak, of course, of the start of the new BBL season. Well, the wait is finally over and it's great to be back here with you, bringing you this BBL Cup clash between the hometown Worcester Wolves and the visiting Surrey Scorchers. With Wolves uh, still awaiting the arrival of most of the American imports, coach Matt Newby drafted in the services of Matthew Bryan, a man on a temporary contract today, a name that won't be lost on anybody here around the BBL, particularly those who follow the extraordinary journey of the uh, London City Royals. And uh, Wolves really impressed in their first competitive game pre-season against the Bristol Flyers with returning captain Martin Boutnick leading from the front and stellar contributions across the roster. Also returning to Wolves this season, Jordan Williams and Daniel Johnson Thompson, both in their second pro season with the club. The former, of course, uh, Jordan Williams being uh, a former Surrey scorcher and indeed Henry Wilkins, who has joined Worcester from Surrey this season, facing up to uh, his old team, or squaring up to his old team, I should say. Tonight, Wolves face the Surrey Scorchers, a fixture that's provided some spectacular entertainment in recent seasons, and a team which this year is certainly not short on top-tier BBL experience. Two marquee signings for coach Creon Raftopoulos in the form of former Leicester Riders teammates Rashad Hassan and Trayvon Wright give Surrey a monster front-court pairing that is guaranteed to light things up. And with the depth of experience of returning Teo and Kanan Raftopoulos, there's going to be plenty for Wolves to get to grips with in tonight's game. And to help us unravel the mysteries that await, I am once again joined by the man who is best described as the Express Dairies of British basketball. Plenty of bottle, he drives a milk float, but if you leave him too long in the hot sun, it doesn't smell too clever. It is, of course, the other side of the commentary team. See what I did there? Yeah. It's the perfectly bottled Mr. Chris Lowe. Chris, great to be back. Yeah, brilliant. Brilliant. Bit of a, bit of a sh shock this week when I got the phone call sort of from yourself saying we, we're good to go. So, um, yeah, it's exciting. It's exciting. I think it's going to be an interesting season with... You know, you're looking at, looking at home court advantage, that sort of disappears. It depends on how well your, your team travels rather than ha how um, the, the atmosphere of the home court or the, or the away court. Obviously, we have a fantastic facility here, but um, so, so does Surrey down at, uh, at the university down there. So um, it, I think there's going to be a lot of level playing fields, you, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, you haven't got to worry about the crowd, the home court crowd getting into it. So from that point of view, it's uh, it's going to be a, uh, a lot different. I, I think it's exciting the fact that it's almost like uh, a lot of teams have had their um, hands forced with with imports not arriving yet because of travel restrictions, etc. So, um, yeah, it'll be, uh, be interesting. Good signing this week, you know, uh, getting Manning in. I know it's last minute, but and how much he's... Uh, he understands that the Matt's system and stuff like yeah. that will be. Uh, I mean, it's a short-term sort of gap fill, isn't it? Well, to, it, to, it is. To fill it, the it, gap it, for the bigs you know, and it, so it's, on. It's been done before. I think Wolves did it a couple of times before, mm -hmm. where they had a couple of short-term signings at one point. I think we was it an injury crisis we had at one point, and that they they brought um, people in on short-term contracts. So, at the end of the day, it, it's a short-term contract. Hopefully, it's a good fix, and uh, and um, uh, it helps Wolves through the situation until their their imports uh, can yeah. arrive and of course the other thing you know is that uh, sorry i think it's the first competitive game for them yeah and the first two um uh, games were forfeit obviously because um the um bristol flyers i think had a positive test yeah so they had to forfeit both of those games so there's a 20 on the board for each of uh, each of those yeah so really it's you know it's kind of one of those where um you know both teams have got you know stuff they can bring to uh, stuff they can bring to the floor tonight, but of course Worcester have got that extra not competitive advantage, I guess. But that you know the benefit of having played Bristol in pre-season, performed very well in that game. Yes. You know very yeah. good, very impressive, even without all of uh, all of the imports. Yeah. Uh, but it looks to me, looking at the warm-up, looking at you know the form on paper and so on, it's probably a slightly different proposition tonight. Plus, you know, we're in competition. Yeah, I mean it's it's always a way, isn't it? You you, you look at pre-season games over the years and and. Uh, teams that haven't displayed are sort of going through motions, getting sets uh, adjusted, and it's not necessarily the uh, the result. Although it's always nice to win and, 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 and put the confidence within the team, it's um, it's the process that you've gone through uh, and the the plays, the sets, everyone understanding each other, which is uh, is usually more important at times. 
Well, looking at the starters tonight, Martin Boutnick, Josh McSwigan, Josh McSwigan, obviously, uh, well, not obviously, but uh, uh, former GB under-18s and under-20s international, Jordan Williams, Mika Elan, and Henry Wilkins, former Surrey Scorcher. So two former Surrey players starting for Worcester tonight. McGregor, Brian and Manning, Ramsdale, Owen, Johnson, Thompson, Akiki and Williamson coming off the bench for the Worcester Wolves. It'll be Connor Corshaw, Lovell Cook, Teo Ogundengby, Rashad Hassan, and Skylar White to start tonight for the Surrey Scorchers with Kukuravas, Raftopoulos, Adia, Rickman and Walsh coming off the bench for Surrey. And uh, while well, I can hardly believe we're here, it's been uh, it's been quite a quite a run to try and get ourselves. I was chatting to to uh, Matt Newby before the game. He said it felt like it was never going to happen this season. Yeah, it is. It is. It is. And um, I think the uh, the important bit was was the, the announcement from the government, wasn't it? That the support to make sure it can happen, which is great for, for English and British basketball. Absolutely, and of course the level of elite sport, you know, elite sports could continue, although you know, issues around participation in sort of youth leagues and development and, and all of that. So there's a lot to unpick and unravel you know, this season. But hey, let's hope that uh, they get on top of it. Great work at the arena. It has to be said here, the whole organisation, they've got it buttoned down, there's sanitizer everywhere. It's really well organised. Social distancing, we're here with masks and hazmat suits and everything else that you might need. You know, everything short of an oxygen cylinder, really. So uh, I think we are good to go as uh, the final sort of uh, formalities, if you like, because we're just itching to get underway at the start of the season. Hassan and uh, Jordan Williams will jump it up. But first of all, the arena take the knee as a gesture of solidarity with the Black Lives Matter movement and uh, racism has no place anywhere particularly not in professional sport so Jordan Williams takes the uh, opening tip so Josh McSwigan first touch in competitive action the captain Martin Boutman he was scoring for fun down in uh, Bristol red hot from downtown in that game, it has gone out of bounds, and um, it's going to be the Wolves ball from the end line. And uh, you know, Chris, sometimes as a, as a playing against your former team for the first time, sometimes there's a bit of a point to prove, isn't there? Yeah, there a always, little bit. There always is, <laughs> is that is that point to prove, you know. So um, it, it, Jordan Williams, they wanted to get the ball into him. He wants to post up against um, was it Hassan. So, you know, yeah. w when wasn't Jordan at, at London for a while? Sorry. Sorry, but... Sorry. Yeah, yeah. so, um, so it, it is it is like that, but everyone, they know each other. They, they've they've played against each other. They, they'll, they'll, they'll scrimmage and stuff like that. So, from that point of view, everyone will sort of be um, be feeling each other out, if, if you yeah. like, to, to, to judge what's what. I think Surrey's... A disadvantage is the competitiveness and, and, and the fact that they haven't played the friendly game uh, against another BBL team. Well, both teams starting by the side of the scoreboard. Cook over the top. No good. Comes into the hands of Martin Boutnick now. He goes down to Jordan Williams. Williams. That was, uh, well, I think you expect him to go the other way. Boutnick, he kicks it out. Wilkins for three. No good. Just off the back iron. Hassan pulls down the rebound. Corshaw drives inside. Can't finish on his even to a piece. 8.23 to play. Jordan Williams. It's a good matchup with Hassan. Boutnick. Now he steps back. Fires up the triple. In and out. Corshaw has it. Just fumbling the ball, and uh, that is going to be it's a foul. A yeah, a foul. End line possession. I didn't see who that was on. So Wilkins. The white driving inside. Elan, that was a beautifully worked move, couldn't finish. Josh McSwiggan comes in to pick up the afters. Draws the foul, going to the line. Yeah, good follow-up there. I think um, the, 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 the secret of, of for Wolves, and, and 
it, it was very, very up and down, very, very one speed then. And then Wolves just came out with a little bit of energy and, uh, and pushed the ball down the floor. And uh, if you remember last year, that's where Wolves at times looked very, very exciting when they, when they played at a level and they, they actually stepped up. I know it's a much changed team, but you, yeah. you've still got two out of the starting five from last year. And, and, and they need to lead the team in the, uh, the tempo well, of, of the game. And of course, you know, still playing within Coach Newby's philosophy exactly. and system. And that, that won't have changed. So, Hassan kicks it out to White. Deep three from Skylar White. No good. Back iron. Mika Reland picks it up. And now Jordan Williams backing down over the top. Baby hook. That trademark that we saw so often last season. Very effective in that position. And Hassan just can't get to the ball. So... Wolves possession, 7.21 to play, two-point game, subs now. So, NBA checks in for the first time in Wolves colours. Henry Wilkins takes a breather for Worcester. And if ever there was an impact player, he's the man right there. Well, this 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 is it now. So, it's, for, for Surrey, it's 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 who, who's marking who, making adjustments. Um, for Wolves, is just let him feel his way in. So, McSwiggan, Williams, Boutnick, NBA's dropped down low. Just bundled yeah. his way past Teo. Teo's just picked his pocket there. He's picked off the pass. Teo drives into the paint. Kicks it out. Triple, no good. Good board from Jordan Williams. Rebounding monster for Wolves last season. Boutnick now back to McSwiggan. Josh McSwiggan, stop, pop three. Got it, Josh McSwiggan. It's the first triple of the game. Now, Cook kicks it out to at the elbow again. Hassan and uh, well, Brian Manning just uh, got just his hand in the cookie jar there. Yeah. Nice. Cook on the inbounds ball. Got a white for three, drains it. And who can forget, of course, these are the two teams that delivered the biggest score ever recorded in the BBL. Quadruple overtime. Feels like such a long time ago now. NBA drives inside, spins. Drops in those two points, and that's what he does so well. Yeah. Cook sold that one, and uh, referee whistles the foul. So level Cook will go to the line to shoot two. Four points of difference, 5:52 to play in the first quarter, and uh, it feels like we just tipped off. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's, it's weird, isn't it? So Lovell Cook on the line sets for the first. And uh, there's uh, Strings, the first of those two. Coach Raftopoulos for now. Sat down. Just uh, sizing up proceedings. Probably one of the most animated coaches in the league. Yeah, he's normally yeah. pacing, isn't he? It's a great dish by Boutnet to find Josh McSwiggan in the corner. He nails another triple. He's dead eye from downtown. Cook, Corshaw, Teo, Hassan, mid-range two, no good. Jordan Williams is there to pluck it off the ironwork. Boutnet, the captain. The double there, someone's got to be open. And there he is, Josh McSwiggan. This time, no good, too much on it. And here comes Scorchers again, it's 100 miles an hour. Hassan. Tangled up, Teo draws the foul, Teo will go to the line. 
Five points of difference, so subs now for Worcester. Wilkins checks in for Elan. I mean, times. Taylor and Dengby on the line. On, uh, well, yeah, that's a shame. Boutnick did all the good stuff and then just reached in at the last yeah. minute. Gave the uh, uh, referee the option of uh, of making that call. Up until then, it was good defence. So three team fouls for Worcester now. In the first quarter, Scorchers with that solitary foul on the board with 5-0-1 to play halfway through the first quarter of the ball game. Martin Boutnick gets us back underway for Wolves. Corshaw making the nuisance of himself. Boutnick, good pass inside of Brian and Manning. Yeah, don't force it. Cook, oh, he couldn't find a way inside. NBA just strips it away. Martin Boutnick creates the space, <laughs> finds the points. Beautifully worked move. Yeah. Balls out to a six point lead now. Teo, foul on the floor. Yeah, that was silly. Pushing foul. And. Uh, and with that, Wolves find themselves on four, so foul trouble pretty early on. And, uh, Matt Newby pacing around the technical area. Walsh now looking for a way in. Uh, bundles his way inside, blocking foul court of Martin Boutnick. That is a harsh call, it has to be said, Chris. Mm. <laughs> That's a tough call. Well, the referee's saying that you grabbed him and his arms were both his arms were up in the air. Let me check that for you, viewer. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just VAR that one, I think, because, <laughs> uh, uh, you know, anything's possible. I don't, I don't know how far behind we are on the uh, stream, probably, probably quite a bit. <laughs> so... That puts... Uh, Walsh on the line, he drains the first of those two, cuts it to a five-point game, 4.09 <laughs> to play. Subs coming for Worcester. Daniel Johnson-Thompson has checked in. JT is on his uh, second pro season here at Worcester. Yeah, his rookie season last year, he really impressed. He certainly impressed down in Bristol in pre-season. Kind of impact player, leaves everything on the floor. Didn't take it through off that pick and roll. McSwigan left wide open again. Josh McSwigan. He's a man to watch. Well, that's it. But the, the, the good thing for Wolves is, is that the Manning there, there he's, he's good pressure there. But he, he's he's attracting the players getting the defense to collapse and then looking for those open, open men and there was a double team earlier on where McSwigan okay overshot the three point but the, the ball movements there everything we can see from Wolves is all is all good at the moment is that they're, they're, they're playing simple basketball they're identifying who's open where the ball needs to go to who the danger men are and, and those people are going to the positions they need to go to I think uh Elan steps out of bounds. Yeah, just a little bit. Just as I say that, they just overplay it a little bit. So here comes Sari again with Teo. Kanin Raftopoulos checked in. And, uh, well, it ain't going to take long to get him open for a triple, that's for sure. <laughs> Teo blocked by NBA. And uh, when he was looking for the foul, it never came. Meantime, Daniel Johnson Thompson yeah. just does the simple stuff. That was it. Good fast break there. Three on three, on, three on two situation, and just made made the made the passes at the right time. Easy basket. You know that, and that's what I was saying. Is that at the moment that's the difference with with, with what Wolves are doing? NBA, he's he's getting the defense to collapse, and then hitting. The, the open money, I think he did yeah. it with uh, with Boutneck earlier on as well, where he, he 
he drew the defense, put them in, passed the ball out. He's then underneath the basket if he does misses. And they, apparently, does, yep. do, you know, the, the form he's been shown as well, he doesn't miss that, that often, but he's, he's still doing the right thing. Absolutely. So, so from Wolves' point of view, all good. From Surrey, they, they just need to, uh, to step up a little bit. Um, get Hassan. I mean, Hassan's been quiet. He, he should be. He should be. Uh, he, he should be having the ball in his hands a little bit more. Yep. There's a little bit more of 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 one-to-one play, uh, individual play with with Surrey's rather than the Wolves playing a little bit of two-man, you know, uh, and, and and more team offense. Where Surrey at the moment is a little bit, a little bit individual. Well, Wolves at the moment. They hold a nine-point lead. You're live with us here on the Worcester Wolves YouTube channel where you will be able to tune into all of the action throughout this season. And uh, it's the opening uh, competitive game of the season for, uh, for both teams, in fact. So uh, BBL Cup, which, of course, heads the, uh, the action prior to the regular season, starting a little bit later in the year. And... Uh, Double header, of course, for Worcester. They're going down to Plymouth uh, Raiders tomorrow. So it's quite a big weekend for them. Kenny Raftopoulos inside to Taylor. Skyler White on the outside. And they go to Raftopoulos for three. No good. So Elan calls the play and uh, gets us into the front court for Worcester. Mika Elan. Thompson, Kiki, Kiki, well that was a nice block off the window but Johnson Thompson picked up the afters, can't finish, Rashad Hassan has it, he hands off to Kayleen Raptopoulos, now Raptopoulos switches on the afterburners, that's a great pass cross court to Skylar White, steps back, triple, Skylar White nails it from downtown for Surrey and all of a sudden there's a slightly different complexion on the board, Yeah. well worked move from Surrey, Kiki Williams hands off to Elan. Elan drives straight through the middle, finds the foul. Good play. Yeah, yeah. And this will be the secret for Wolves: is that is that the rotation, the, the players that are coming in, do the same thing. They don't change anything. They still run the same system. So. Elan on the line. Streams the first of those two. 152 to play in the first quarter of this ball game. There's 21 plays, 14 in favour of Wolves. Count them at 22. The Wolves five fouls on the board, so discipline is going to be the name of the game. It's Taya now for Surrey. Left top of us. Taylor now is backing down on Josh McSwig, and that's a beautiful matchup right there. Rickman drives inside, collects his own rebound and drops it in. He picks up the afters. Akiki, well, he nearly travelled with it. Got it to uh, Johnson Thompson, however. Jordan Williams. Akiki, stop and go. Off the window, good finish. Yeah. So Teo for Surrey, Skyler White, another deep three from him this time, no good. Johnson Thompson, Williams at the top, well he likes that three here now and again doesn't he? <laughs> Didn't take it, so that was a beautiful pass inside, Elan just couldn't finish, they kick it back out to McSwiggan, under pressure McSwiggan, deep in the shot clock, finds the triple with a hand in his face. Good stuff from Worcester. Teo dancing around in the paint. Count that and the bonus. Yeah, yeah, that was a, a veteran Teo move. Got the guy in the wrong position, waiting for him to get up in the air, and then and then went up, knowing that he was going to meet him on the way down. Exactly. <laughs> exactly that. It's the law of physics, folks. Whatever goes up must come down. Must come down. Physics and stock markets. I think that's what they say, isn't it? Well, yeah. the bonus never came, and the ball came into the hands of the Wolves, so it's a Kiki now for Worcester, a Kiki. 
Eland looking for a way through. Goes to Johnson Thompson. They must have looking settled in their play. They look settled in all their sets. It's a disciplined performance so far. And, uh, well. So. Blocking foul on yeah. Surrey. So the referee. He calls the block. That was on... Uh, So Rotopoulos takes a breather. Kukurovas checks in. For Sari now. He lands, drives inside, off the window. Lays it in. Good work. And that's all she wrote for the first quarter. Chris, give us your wrap-up on that first quarter. Um, slow start. Weird start for both the teams, sort of, you know, sort of going, oh, this is a competitive game, and then, you know, <laughs> there's nobody here. There's nobody here. There's no <laughs> noise, and, and that sort of stuff. We, we evolve in, into it, and then I think that the, the difference is, is that okay? Yes, Wolves have picked up, you know, five team fouls and and, and stuff like that. But you you want that in in the fact that you want them to be a little bit aggressive and do that sort of stuff. So, Absolutely. so from that point of view, I, I wouldn't be concerned. Okay, Batnick, he's got, I see it. Uh, he's got two, so maybe you don't want him on on that. But, um, but then I think I think Worcester sort of grew into it a little bit more, stepped the tempo up a little bit more. Um, I've been balanced well with the inside outside game having the right pe people and the nice thing is is that and and this is a, a trust thing fr from from guards to forwards and, and, and vice versa is that if the, if the big man if you put the ball into the big man and he knows he hasn't got position and the, and and the defense has collapsed into him uh, and double teamed him and he knows that and he, he releases the ball straight away and gives the guard the ball back sort of to take the three point shot or yeah. Or, or just to rotate it round again, is that that balance, that balance, and that trust goes both ways. So therefore, when the big man is open, he knows the guard's not going to give it to him and not just hang on to it because he's never going to get it back. So from that point of view, I, I think I think Wolves did well. Sorry, you know that they they they, um, they struggled a little bit. They went into uh, into their timeout um, and they came out and they changed it up a little bit. There was a little bit more um, set play to them, a little less individual, as I said before. So. Um, I think for Surrey, they need to get a couple of quick baskets and then that will sort of level them up a little bit more. Well, we're back underway. I'm just looking down those stats. In NBA, there's a match on Rickman, NBA and uh, well holding foul on yep. uh, Rickman not a harsh call I fear mm -hmm. referees uh, giving no quarter, that's no. for sure well the interesting thing will be is that do you, do you from, a, from uh, a Wolves point of view now go okay right Let's let's run a play to get it straight back into him and get him on three and then then make the coach make a decision. Well, Elam with that long range two yeah. just towed the line. But pushes Worcester out to an 11 point lead. Josh McSwigan leading all scorers in this game with 16. That was the sixth personal point for Mika Elam as Hassan rolls two over the top. Not 
Swigan winning the battle of the boards at the moment. Four so far in the game. Martin Bout next. He sees it open up, kicks it out, and this time it's Mika Reno open for three. No good. Front iron pulled down by Lovell Cook. Cooks at the races. We'll stop quickly back on defence. Elan. He's got to stop call short. It was well short with that. It was a good ball from NBA. Hands off to Martin Boutnick. Boutnick now over the game line. Elan left wide open for three. This time he can't connect. Corshaw again for Surrey. Coast to coast, Corshaw dumps off to Hassan. And he can't finish. He's picked it up, but uh, no points. McSwiggan comes up with it, and they should have done better there. And a blocking foul will be called, I think, for sure. Yeah. Or oh, Walsh. Yeah, they'll be disappointed not to pick something up from that. Yeah, that was that was. It's almost like one of those ones where it's too easy. For, for, for me, yeah. is is from uh, from Coach Newby's point of view, is that yeah, we we score in baskets at, at, at offensively, but you want to you want to lock it down a little bit more. You know, as I said, from from a Surrey's point of view, from oh. Surrey's point of view, is is a great start to the quarter. Great, you know, that's what you wanted. That uh, an answer, but from a Wolves point of view, you don't want to be trading baskets. Yeah, absolutely. Well, Mark Boutnick, I think quite smart there. Kept his hands well out of the way. And uh, yeah, they're saying that obviously the, the Surrey player had got had got uh, possession because uh, the, the clock yeah. reset. And here comes Boutnick again, drives inside. He's hell ball. So what is going to be? Walsh from the end line, so stack them up. Kenny Mraftopoulos checks back in for Walsh, so I suspect, I suspect uh, Coach Kalin, uh, Coach um, Creon is looking for a way of sparking this outside game mm. for Sari for sure. Gustav showing a really good perimeter so far. NBA jacks up the triple this time, no good. Hassan. Plucks it off the ironwork and hands it to Lowell Cook. Cook over the game line now. And here's Rickman again, just muscling his way inside. And, uh, well, pushing foul called on NBA. So he was, well, he was backing down. And, mm. uh, Six to one off a dozen of the other, isn't it, really? But anyway, Rickman. Four short this time. It's a foul on the floor. It's two fouls in quick succession. Yeah. Yeah, and that's what one actually did one on him because uh, if that would have been about next, that would have been his third. So, down to Hassan. Raftopoulos. Raftopoulos is like a terrier. <laughs> so, foul on the shot again. Mm. So, what about next? He's on Smith Swigan. Somehow come up with the spoils out of that one. 
Williams. McSwiggan again. Long range three. Shoot the three though. No. Core short. Unfortunately, that, you know, yeah, out. at the moment for Wolves, it's it's. You know, there's there's two shots. The one that he just he, he just missed was similar to the one he, he made before, but uh, both of them I would say were weren't open shots. They were more forced. Oh shots. my goodness me! How did Boutnick find that bucket? <laughs> well, when the gods are with you, they're with you. They are. Count they it are. and find the bonus now from the line. Goodness gracious and me, and unbelievable. And the thing is, is that, you know, Surrey have, have done their, you know, the, those last two attempts were, it was, it was almost like harder to miss it than it was to make it. <laughs> and, and, then, and then he goes and does that. Well, Boutnick's on the line. So... It's a 13-point game. Yeah, Wolves, Wolves needed that basket just to settle them down a bit. Yeah, I would uh, be inclined to agree. Corshaw now. Hassan, he hands back to Corshaw. Metropolis running the perimeter. Lovell Cook inside. No good. Struggling to finish around the basket. Sorry, but uh, Hassan is there. To drop the two points in. Mika Elan now for Worcester. Elan over the game line. Boutnick he's looking for a way in he goes through the traffic straight through the trees dumps it off to Williams who drains it from the free throw line good finish from Williams cool shot out to Teo Hassan he's sitting outside but Teo is going all the way to the hole nice move very good So here comes Mika Elam once again for Wolves. And, uh, oh, he looked for the foul there, um, Jordan Williams. And Hassan, yeah, it was a travel for sure, yeah. I was going to say, I thought they uh, maybe got away with it, but uh, this time the referee spotted it. And... Uh, with 4.21 to play, it's three fouls apiece either side of the scoreboard. 40 plays, 29 here in this BBL Cup game. Johnson Thompson. Oh, good work. Count them and the bonus again for yeah. Jordan Williams. I think Wolves have worked out as well is that there was a lot of passing going on uh, and uh, earlier on and, and, and the big men were apart from in the post play weren't even even if they were facing the basket were just looking to be uh, providers and, and run through the sets now they've realized that if they put the ball on the floor and play a little bit aggressive when mm. the when the time is right is that um, sorry won't or, or sorry or, or the referees will call the fouls if if uh, if sorry play, don't play good defense Mr. Sky the White. That's aggressive. Defense for sure. Sky the White gets nothing but the backboard with that. Cook kicks it out to Ritopoulos. Ritopoulos. That's his pocket picked by Mika Elan. Elan now's at the race as he dumps it off to Josh McSwiggan. Comes up out that double team. Great defensive work from Surrey. Yeah. Good job by Lovell Cook. He had it covered. Corshaw inside Teo. And there you see that level of experience. Yeah, again. Just pins his man, gets yeah. his pivot foot where he, he wants it and just turns and, and goes. When he turns, he always goes to the basket. He's always got that foot down and, and, and turns on it. I think Wolves then, with that fast break, it, 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 they were caught in, in two minds. And instead of passing the ball ahead and then getting the ball back, he just held and held and held. And by the time he passed it, the, the defence had collapsed underneath the basket, which gave McSwiggan nowhere to go at all. So a um, little bit of early decision making would, would have been a, a, a better option. Even if you pass it and, and, and they can't go straight to the basket, you just get the runners to run the lanes and just wait for that open man to come down the lane and, uh, yeah. and hopefully make that easy, um, easy layup. It was interesting looking at Hassan, Hassan's rebound, uh, uh, rebound, his leading all rebound was at, at 10, but of course 
where they didn't go in, you're picking up two or three. Well, that's it, yeah. You know, but, but the, the statistician is just picking up every single time he touches well, the ball. But from, from a coach's <laughs> point of view, is is that one, he's there, and two, this is yeah, their for sure. and this is their first competitive game. For sure. So, you know, okay. You you know the player well enough. He's been round enough that at, at next game or the game after, he will have warmed up and he will be just putting those in as he will and he does do in, in every other sort of game halfway through a season yeah. sort of scenario well still McSwiggan out front from a points point of view leading all scorers at 18 Teo Ogan Dengby has dropped 8 in the bucket so far back next to Elan and Skylar White all on 6 and there is that man Josh McSwiggan Elan he's had his pocket picked Noble Cook is going to go all the way to the bucket. No great spectacle, just find the points. Jordan Williams, Williams having a tussle with Taylor. That was a good rebound from uh, Johnson Thompson. They go back out to Elan. No good this time. Ball is loose. Tayo has it. Three on one. Pulls up. Back to Corshaw for three. Too short. 2.34 to play in the second quarter. It's a 10 point ball game. Scorchers with four team fouls on the board to Walls. Three. 14 on the shot clock as uh, Jordan Williams backs down on Taylor and Dengby. Here comes that baby hook again off the window. Good finish. Good finish from Jordan Williams. Yeah, that was that. Was that. That important one to uh, make sure that if uh, if Surrey scored next, it wasn't down to single figures, which is always that sort of um, just psychological it, barrier. It isn't is, it, yeah, it is. And when you haven't got got the crowd to um, to help you with that one, um, it is important because you, you sometimes you don't even need to look at the scoreboard to, to know where where it's at, and you, you yeah. feel the tension and all, all that sort of stuff. Now you haven't got that noise, you haven't got that atmosphere, so. It, you, you'll see probably players looking up at the scoreboard more than they normally do. Well, stripped out of the hands of uh, Henry Wilkins. And uh, Johnson Thompson is all over it like a, yeah. a scrum half. Well, that's the hustle, that's what you want. So, 10 point game, 136 until we get to the break. And Kaylin Rastopoulos on the inbounds. Yeah, and sorry, I want to score out of this. And, uh, and score, stop, score would be the ideal thing for them. Yeah, absolutely. Well, let's see if they can do it. Corshaw has it now. Corshaw, well, he just saw that lane open up in front of him. And he finds the score. So now, sorry, I've got to find the stop. Elan for Wolves. And uh, offensive foul is called. And that is going to be... The third foul on Matthew Bryan and Manning in the game. He's looking at the referee to say, well, the, <laughs> the cries of guilty from the bench, from the Surrey bench. No, I think, but, uh, I think Surrey, <laughs> Surrey got that, uh, that, the bench got that foul. That's the jury over there, yeah. Yeah. judge, jury and executioner. Yeah. Anyway, Skylar White. So... They have a stop. They had a stop of sorts. Let's say. Can yeah. they find the other score now? Teo travelled with it. Wow. That's so get our jail card. Turned it over. Well, 104. Yeah. You know they can find the stop on this offense now. Yeah, Sorry. Still, still the same. So it's the Elan Corshaw show. It's a physical old encounter. Brian and Manning. Josh McSwigan puts up the three. There's the stop right there. So now. Sorry, I've got to find those two points, or maybe those three points. Corshaw, he's going route one. That wasn't the best decision, really, but he drew the foul. And he is going to go to the line to shoot two. So, as you predicted. Scorchers. Stop. He found a couple, so he gets both of these. He's doubled his number. He strings this. 
So call short for the second. So strings both of those. 40 seconds to play. Here comes Elan Corshaw, of course, Sheffield last season. 16.4 a game he was scoring last year. So he's not a man. He's not a man short on uh, on shooting ability. NBA now backing down, double teamed, and uh, he's hustled out of it. Good yeah. defensive work. Great cut by uh, Johnson Thompson then, and uh, Manning didn't. Uh, Manning didn't see him. Or well, if he did see him, he just didn't trust him on that pass, but he just went straight down the lane and uh, shame wasn't uh, wasn't seen or, 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 or passed to. So, timeout scorches. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, great finish to the half for them. They, they, they've brought themselves right back into it. I think Wolves have sort of, I don't know, just changed their, changed their game in the last couple of minutes. Right, You know, the... the, 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 the all the things that they were doing right in the first quarter, you know, the position of the big man, the the shot selection, as I said, you know, through uh, the big man squaring up to the basket and then putting the ball on the floor and, and going hard to the to the hoop, knowing that uh, that that Surrey were going to struggle to um, play defense against them without being called for fouls, I wouldn't say fouling, but being called for fouls and stuff like that. So, so from that point of view, is 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 Wolves have changed what they're doing and, and changed the, the normality of it. Is from from a Surrey point of view, they've stepped it up a, a bit. You know, they got the turnover, they put a bit of pressure on the uh, on the Wolves guard, you know, and and stuff like that, and identified a potential weakness there. You know, is there a weakness there? That that, that they're just asking the question. You know, one turnover is one turnover. It doesn't matter. Um, so from from that point of view, a good end to the the half, and and, and sometimes a end of the half means that you go go into the half with confidence. But it's almost also you don't want the half to finish. Yes. <laughs> because you've got the momentum going. Well, there are only 13 seconds of it left now. Skyler White. They just want to take a bit of air out of the basketball now. Sorry, they've got down to that single digit advantage. They want to finish with another two. Corshaw pulls up for them. No good. Henry Wilkins doesn't have time for the Hail Mary. And there we are. It is half time here in Worcester. And it's the Worcester Wolves who lead 45 points to 39. Chris, your wrap up on that uh, first half. I've just said a lot of it. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, a, a great, a, a good first quarter. And a, a, almost like a, a slow first quarter of the first quarter if you, if yeah. you like but both teams feeling each other then Wolves accelerated through the sort of the, the second part of the first quarter and the first part of the, the the second quarter and then Surrey have just found their feet a little bit where the Wolves have, 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 have the old adage of if it isn't broke don't fix it yeah. sort of changed there for Wolves and I think if, if I was Matt Newby I'd be saying guys look, look why have we changed what we were doing in, in, the, in that middle middle section of that half and and let's go back to it. Um, you know the, the the start of the second quarter. I, th I felt Wolves were um, trading baskets too easily mm -hmm. with Surrey. Um, um, I think Surrey showed a little bit of nerves underneath the basket. You know when we were saying about Hassan, you know he's leading in 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 uh, rebounds, but yeah. he's had two or three goes yeah. at, at offensively. So um, I think. I think the, the the first quarter again, the f the first quarter of the of the next half, is where the game could be won and lost. I think you know, Wolves have the ability to to step it. I think Surrey want to make it as it is, a um, little bit scrappy, a little bit change up. I think Wolves need to look after their fouls. Mm -hmm. You know, with, with with Manning on three. About neck on two, that that could play in, into into Wolves' position. Um, from 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 the fact that if if Banner has to sit because of the foul problem, is that do then Surrey go for the juggling and start putting pressure on the yeah. on the Wolves? So you get a sense, don't you, that Surrey is starting to go up through the gears now? Yeah, took, you know, exactly. They're, 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 Wolves seem to come yeah, out in top gear. Yeah, and, and, they're, they're and it's taken sorry a little while to yeah, sort of learn how to use the gear lever, but yeah, they've figured it out now. Exactly, and they're, they're, they're feeling a bit. I, I feel hmm. that when. Um, all the, when Raptoponis is on, although 
and it's always been the same because of his size it's a, sometimes a little bit difficult on defense to, to match him up but when he's on court offensively there seems to be a, a stability to Surrey yeah it, 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 it just seems to sort it out yeah. he doesn't necessarily need the ball in his hands but he, he, he makes sure that all the pieces are, are, are in better places yeah. and stuff like that so um, yeah I think I think Surrey have gone up the gears a little bit and felt their way into their first competitive game yep. of, of the season. Well, we're all set up for a great second half here. If you want to follow all the news, don't forget, all the updates will be, uh, as ever, on all the Worcester Wall social media channels. So check them out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and LinkedIn. Tomorrow, Wolves travel to uh, Plymouth Raiders. Tip-off down there is at 3pm. So if you go onto the Raiders, Plymouth Raiders social media channels, uh, and you can figure out there, it'll tell you how to uh, watch the game from home. I'm not sure if it's uh, streaming on YouTube. I believe it is. We'll try and check that out actually for you now, just to um, we'll bring that to you perhaps in the, uh, in the second half, if we can. And of course, as you know, there are bound to be lots of you out there looking for new merchandise. Christmas is nearly upon us. It's going to be a bit of a strange one, but uh, if you're struggling to get a crowd in, just have a funeral for your turkey, and you can have about 40 people there apparently. So that's uh, probably a bit of a plan. Anyway... Go to www.worcesterwalls.org where you will find all the links to the shop and everything you could possibly need for your Christmas shopping. And uh, that's uh, us done for the first half of this game. So we're going to take a break. We'll be back in about eight or nine minutes' time with the second half. Whatever you do, don't go away.
Welcome back to the University Arena here in Worcester. Second half, third quarter action here for you in this BBL Cup game between the hometown Worcester Wolves and the visiting Surrey Scorchers. Worcester going in 45-39 at the break, but Surrey at the end of that second quarter, Chris, really finding their way through the gearbox. Yeah, exactly, and I think uh, it's going to be that the happier or, or less concerned, I wouldn't say unhappy, I'd say the less concerned uh, uh, dressing room would, be, would have been the... Uh, the Surrey one, it's sort of, come on guys, we've got ourselves into this game, let's let's keep it going. From a Wolves point of view, it's, uh, yes, we've got, we've got the lead, but um, we need to make sure we have a positive start to the second second half and, and do what we were doing so well at times in, 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 the, um, in the first quarter and the first part of the first half. You know, I think it's, it's, a, it's, it's a thing where, in real terms, it's, it's almost like one of those ones where we've spoken about it before. It's Wolves' game to lose yeah, uh, and, 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 and stuff um, um, because they know they've got the ability and they've shown that they've got the ability to um, score at will. I think um, less four shots might be a, a, an idea. Uh, get that balance back where I said about the inside-outside game sort of thing, the guards... Doing, doing the outside shooting and the big men sort of um, getting themselves into the right position underneath the basket and, and, and working that way. I think um, managing their, their fouls, obviously, you, you know, the Wolves have started up slightly differently, uh, having a manning in and, uh, and that sort of stuff. So uh, the Wolves are looking for a, a positive, positive start sort of thing and, and, uh, and sorry to uh, continue what they uh, finished off uh, at, the, uh, start at the end of the first half. Well, we're back underway. Martin Boutnick, the Wolves captain, led from the front very much in that game against Surrey. But uh, Jordan Williams has had his pocket picked. Hassan finds the foul, and uh, that is going to be three on Josh McSwigan. Yeah. Not the best start to the uh, second half. No, it's not what you wanted. So, uh, coach Matt Newby is quite impassive on the bench. You have to look at um, the fact that, that Surrey did a good job then of uh, not allowing Wolves to uh, run the offence how they wanted it to. But well. they can't. Surrey couldn't convert from the free throw line, so another chance now. Rashad Hassan it was just too long on that one. Doesn't make either of them well. They've played the get out of jail free card, I fear. Yeah. So uh, Worcester, it's a slenderest of leads. Six point game. McSwigan, Williams, Boutnick. About Nick. Well, NBA was a little bit late coming out, but he's picked it up now. Brian Manning loses the handles on the ball. And turns it over. So, start of the third quarter of this BBL Cup game. Skyler White, call short. Yeah, he kicks it out to Skylar White. It's a beautifully worked move. Skylar White couldn't connect. Boutnick. Henry Wilkins for three. Six the triple. Smokes it from downtown. That's an important score. Yeah. Yeah. Again. Hassan. Well, he went to sell that one. There were no buyers. Boutnick has it. So McSwigan into NBA. NBA now this time. Can he finish? Puts it over the top. He's just knocked off balance. And uh, he's waiting to see what the referee's reaction was. Meantime, Teo flushes at the other end for Surrey. Another beautifully worked move by the Surrey Scorchers. And once again, they crank it into another gear. Brian Manning, about next, Dutchman, and uh, holding off the ball. So and that was called on. Was Teo, first foul of the game. Yeah. yeah, first foul of the game for Teo. So it's a Wolves ball from the end line. NBA once again. Can he find a way over the top this time? Just can't finish. There's something about those uh, soft touches around the basket in that end of the arena tonight. 
Little is working, Love will cook. Went to go for the afters, didn't work. No points. I was just about to say, it's that basket at that end. It but, is, yeah. Uh, <laughs> it seems to be working both ways. <laughs> Williams inside to NBA. This time NBA finds his way to the hole, finds the two points. Then he breathes again. Wolves out to a nine-point lead now. Corshaw, Corshaw dances inside. Drops it in once again. Hassan at the other end. Trading buckets now. Wilkins into the front court. Henry Wilkins. And he's just nerfed by Teo. And uh, that's an interesting call. I think the referee's saying he tried to nerf him over the halfway line. Yeah. To force the backcourt. Well, anyway, there it goes. And uh, seven points is the difference. So Daniel Johnson Thompson checking in now for uh, for NBA. NBA carrying three fouls. So I suspect Matt yeah, Hughie wants to just conserve a little something there. Well, that was it. And that was the sort of the, the, the risk that uh, Matt Newby took at the start of the quarter was to uh, start him. Another foul on Hassan as well. Yeah. So second foul for him. Yeah. Ob obviously, uh, Surrey are trying to keep the, the the big men away from backing 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 down, and they're just holding the uh, Wolves players. Um, you know, and there's, there's there's playing strong, and then there's hot, there's actually physically yeah. holding. So um, well, Wilkins they just well. need to adjust slightly. Well, Wilkins did well to draw that foul. No. Yeah, I think it's that Hassan really again. So, yeah, yeah it's so on three. Hassan is on three. MBA is on three. Interesting uh, dynamic happening now. So Rickman comes back in to fill that space in the low block. Wilkins strings the first. Sets for the second. Henry Hawkins, former Surrey player, of course, last season. He strings them both. So, nine point game it is, and now it's Wolves who want the stop. And uh, There's a clock violation. Uh, it's, uh, I think the 24 second didn't start. So, back we go. Again, no shot clock. And still no shot clock. There you go. And there it is. So, 22 on the shot clock. Corshaw into the front court for Surrey. Corshaw kicks it out to Cook. Stop and pop inside. Good work from Cook. It's a well worked move. Just danced his way into the paint. Boutneck now for Worcester. Martin Boutneck. Kicks it out to Wilkins. Wilkins just gets his pocket pick. picked off by Cook. Teo has it. Well, Wilkins redeems himself with that steal. Josh McSwigan goes to the captain. And they just want to take a little bit of pace out of it. Worcester, you sense. Calls the screen. Johnson Thompson. Well, looking for the spectacular finish. Wilkins can't hold the ball. And uh, it's all arms and legs. Corshaw in the tangle. 6.18 to play. Scorchers on 14 fouls right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they picked up those those ones quite quickly. And um, it's 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 just gone into a real scrappy game at the moment, um, both both ends. But um, again, I'm sure that what one team will step up a little bit. I think I think the foul situation with with the depth of the bench will be. be start playing yeah. quite soon. Oh, Corshaw. Stop and pop from the elbow from him. No good. That's going to be a sorry ball for sure. I'm not really sure what they're arguing about. The pair of them went for it. So. Yeah. Both of them went for it and neither one boxed to cook out. Yeah. And uh, 14 on the shot clock off this inbounds. So a bit of time to do something. Does Cook need it? No, Cook goes straight in off the glass. And again, sorry. Well, there and thereabouts. I remember seeing a game against Surrey like this once before, Chris. So we, think we were here all night, oh, yeah. virtually. 
Call short. Novel cook. Call short goes inside. A cut. Beautifully worked move. Great block off the window by Josh McSwigan. Martin Boutnick. He just hangs it up. Go to Daniel Johnson Thompson. Mika Elan now. Elan. He drives all the way in. And uh, well, Rickman went to the glass, didn't quite connect with the ball. Cook now. Too much on it, Williams. Bout neck for Worcester. 5.02 to play, third quarter. Jordan Williams. Martin Bout neck. Now he puts up the triple. I think that's his first shot since the uh, first quarter. Call short. Skylar White way downtown with that one. Skylar White smokes it from deep. And with that, sorry, take it back to a two point ball game. And. Uh, Foul is called on Rickman. Pushing foul. So Rickman now. He's uh, on two fouls. Three fouls indeed. Yeah. So Rickman and Hassan both carrying three. With 4.23 to play in the third. Uh, it could be a paracetamol moment. Potentially. Yeah, well, that's the thing is that, uh, you know, you got um, a Manning on the bench. Go big and um, and hope that Surrey can't survive is, is, is scenario yeah. and, go, and go inside. Don't force it inside, but play the offences where the ball gets into the right position. That should be or could be your plan. Yeah, poor short. Teo, head fake, drives inside. Good work from Daniel Johnson Thompson, but Teo. Just bundles his way to the basket. Two point ball game, 3.58 to play in the third quarter. Are oh, we setting up for another grandstand finish in the fourth quarter between these two teams? A Kiki now, a Kiki at the elbow. He goes around the corner, Mika Elan this time. A Kiki puts up the triple. Right at the end of the shot clock, 3.36 to play, two-point game. Here comes Corshaw for Surrey, Corshaw drives inside. Oh, and he finds the two, mark it up and give me the bonus. No, 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 I think it's offensive foul call. No basket. Referees, no. Crown ref Topolis doing his fruit on the other side. Referees are conferring that... Um, We'll see what the outcome is. As they deliver their judgment. Basket good. Yeah. So. Yeah. It felt like the wrong call to me. But. Um, yeah. They're saying that he'd released the ball. Before contact was made. So it has to be a basket. We are locked up here at 54 apiece with 3.29 to play in the third quarter. Scorchers in the bonus. So they're in foul trouble. And maybe that's something Worcester need to, uh, to try and capitalise on. Rashad, Hassan and Rickman both yeah, so the, on uh, three fouls. So because basket's been called good, is that the possession then goes to Worcester. So that because they're in the foul count. They get the two. Exactly. Yeah. Because it's not an offensive of foul, course. it's just a foul. So uh, Josh McSwigan was just uh, questioning the decision and uh, gave the referee a thumbs up. <laughs> so they realised it's gone their way. So all right, then, that's fine. We'll take that. We'll take that one to the bank. 3.29 to play. And uh, it's one of those. Yet again, Tola Rakiki on the line for Worcester now. Not the stripe. Makes the first. Yeah, 
Kiki, call as you like. Cook, Rickman, that's the right side of uh, Williams, goes over the top, no good, Williams has it, Rickman tries to strip it away. Here comes Jordan Williams, Mika Reland now. Running the point for Worcester, Johnson Thompson. Williams at the top, Williams, mid-range two jumper from the elbow, four-point game. Yeah, Wolves are doing well at the moment with um, with with the fact is that you know they've still got uh, Batnick on 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 the bench, they've got Manning on the bench, and yet they're still still competing, still able to get the ball. I mean, okay, Williams then had to take the shot, but. Uh, Wolves guards need to just take some control, run the sets, make sure that, that uh, people are going into the right places. Williams, oh, he sold the dummy beautifully there. Jordan Williams drops it in off the glass. Six point ball game. So sorry, yet to get their noses in front in this game. They got it up to 54 apiece. But, uh, that's since been six unanswered points from Worcester Teo. Head fake, drives inside, kicks it out. And now Walsh is all open for three, drains it, and grabs back half of that run from Worcester. Mika Elan. now Daniel Johnson-Thompson, Johnson-Thompson into Jordan Williams. Williams fakes a three, McSwigan, Elan drives the baseline, dumps it off to Johnson-Thompson, good finish. Back to trading buckets for both of these teams. 129 to play. To the end of the third quarter. Corshaw now, Corshaw. Well, that's going to be a foul on Tadaru Kiki. And uh, that puts him... His first foul of the game, in fact. Yeah. So Elan checks out. Wilkins checks in for Wolves. Corshaw. Oh, beautiful finish from Corshaw. Peaky. Oh, wow. Looked like it hurt. Pushing foul, two shots. Yeah. There it is, 59.6 to play in the quarter. So, the battle of the bigs on the board right now in terms of, uh, in terms of fouls. As uh, Johnson Thompson sets for uh, the first of those two, just kisses the hoop on its way in. percent from two-point range so far in this game. Sorry, Scorchers, 44. And uh, well, the foul is called. And that's going to put uh, Walsh on the line. 45.8 seconds to play. Oh, we a deep debate with the referee. Walsh makes the first. And he sets for the second now. So can he cut this down to a three-point ball game? Yes, he does. And we're back underway with the key key. Wilkins now for Worcester. McSwigan. 
Lunges into Jordan Williams. Jordan Williams steps back again. A stop and pop at the elbow. Beautiful finish from him. Such a versatile player. Five point ball game. There's little between these two teams. 11 seconds now. Eight seconds on the game clock. Don't, don't foul. Cool short. And they've lost the ball, but it's gone to Johnson Thompson on the buzzer. No basket, says the referee. He got it away just after the buzzer went. Oh, well, it's fine margins, but uh, end of the third quarter, 66 plays, 61. Chris? Yeah, almost like um, a score draw in that quarter, wasn't it? it, it, it from, from Surrey's point of view, um, they got back into it. They got level for what was it? A few seconds because of the free throws and that sort of stuff. So um, I, I think fr from a Wolves' point of view is is that they've got through with the fact that they've got no more fouls. Yep. On on their key players. Um, Surrey have picked up uh, fouls on, on on that. So I think this th this third quarter was a little bit of a stalemate, and it's sort of uh, get through it with limited damage or or, or f from yeah. Surrey's point of view catch up and get as close as you can or get a lead or, and from Wolves don't give it up let's make sure we get into the uh, into the fourth quarter nice and healthy mm. with, with with points to give and then uh, we can uh, we can use our, our our starting five more in in the fourth quarter so, so from that point of view, a little bit of a game of of of, of chess and, and and that sort of stuff. Um, I still think the Wolves haven't hit the 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 height that they can do that we've seen from them early doors. Um, and from Surrey's point of view, is that they they're just making everything difficult. I, I like Cook. I think Cook can could hurt Wolves mm -hmm. more than any any of the other players out there. Um, and he got going a little bit in the uh, in, in in the third quarter, so um, so from that point of view, it is it's a case of from Wolves keep Cook nice and quiet, and see if you can quiet him down, and and from from the other side of, of their point of view is is uh, let's get uh, their their, uh, their starting five uh, players to uh, step up step up to yep. the, uh, the next level. Well, we're in the fourth and final act. What could prove to be a dramatic finish here in Worcester? Martin Boutnick, Worcester immediately stripping that ball away. NBA back on court. He's carrying three fouls, so he was he was uh, sort of the powder that was kept dry, really. Dropped in off the pick and roll to get a Williams, though. He's looking for the ball. Felt it came a little bit late, I think. Matthew Bryan and Manning can't finish on that spin. He's just keeping himself out of trouble. Kirk Raftopoulos. Raftopoulos drives hard to the hole. That high floating shot. Trademark move from him. Martin Boutnick now for Worcester. Boutnick goes into NBA. Wilkins, Williams, Elan, Elan. Top of the key. Puts it up, long range two, no good. Walls picks it off the ironwork. It's a five-point game. There's virtually nothing between these two teams now. And since uh, sorry, really sort of hit their stride, it's been you know, yeah, they've, they've slowly ratcheted up the uh, the pressure. They have. So Worcester now with the job to do. Keep themselves in in front. Composure, good execution, great work from NBA. But uh, yeah, there's definitely a curse on that bucket down there tonight. Yeah. Just rolls around. <laughs> Raftopoulos, Skylar White, Skylar White, a little fake there. And uh, oh, Rickman just collected that long rebound and uh, foul is called. So that is going to be on uh, 
Henry Walkin, so fourth foul of the game for him. So Nathan Ramsdale Owen checks in for Worcester. So another one on Cook. Yeah, it was um well, okay. Strange. Cook, yeah, a little bit first foul of the game mm. for him. So another one up on the board for Scorchers. One apiece now. 7.59 to play five point ball game. I don't know, there's a kind of caginess suddenly that sort of come into this game. Yeah. And nobody really wants to open the floodgates, but um just in case. No no one wants to take a risk, I suppose. Oh, that was a nice move and a great dump off to uh, NBA, but foul called on the floor. Oh, all eyes on the board. First foul of the game for Kanin Ratopoulos. Mika Reeland for three. No oh, good. NBA collects it. Can't finish. Topolis has it for Surrey. Is he going to go all the way? He's going to kick it out to Skylar White. It's another deep triple from Skylar White. He is red hot from that position. Absolute dead eye three point shooter. Deep, deep threes in this game. Jordan Williams is blocked. And that's a two-point ball game. And all of a sudden, complexion changes. And here comes Daniel Johnson. Thompson, NBA, is going to take a breather. <laughs> Belam. Kickball. Seven oh four to play. This is one of those situations where the clock seems to slow right down. Thirteen on the shot clock now. Martin Boutnick sitting inside to Johnson Thompson. His double team dumps it off to Elan, who finds some space, and Rickman gets a hand to it against the window. Good yes. work. So gone, gone so edgy. Everyone's like yep. nervous, and there's like. Best part of seven minutes to play is, you know, there's no need to be nervous, just play. Four points in it. Rick many hands off to Rotopoulos. Oh, Skyler White again, that's his range right there. He's hit another one. Oh my goodness me, Skyler White. He has come to play. Yeah, exactly. Extraordinary. Yeah. He can't do anything about that. that Unbelievable. That. Five from nine from downtown for Skylar White. Yeah, and if you think about it, I think the first two he he, he didn't hit, and then suddenly he's gone really, really uh, hot in the, uh, in the in the second half. But um, from, from Wall's point of view, is that, yes, guys, you got to get, get the ball out of his hands. Don't let him get it and, and stuff like that. But at the same point is that when you when your hand's up as far up as that, and he still makes it, then you have to say, well, yeah, you play good defence, but let's get, just make sure he doesn't actually get the ball. Well, 16 points personal for Skylar White, and he's drained, uh, what, five of those yeah. from downtown, <laughs> you know, at distance. And the thing is, at the moment, is if you look at Surrey and, uh, and, and stuff, they've got Hassan on the bench, they've got Teo on the bench, yeah. and... Uh, who else? Well, I just I just looked across. You're sort of thinking to yourself, well, these guys, that and and the, and the point guard, uh, cool shot. You got those people on the bench ready to come in, and yet Surrey are doing the, doing the job and pulling themselves back into the game. Well, they're certainly back in the game. One point separates these two teams. McSwiggan just loses his footing as he goes in, dumps it off to Jordan Williams. Makes the put back, so he'll get the stat line for that particular score. It's a good job he, uh, he was there, wasn't it? Yeah, three-point game. 
Well, that's been the cursed hoop tonight, that one down there for sure. Oh, and here's Skylar White again. Oh, my word. Too much on it this time. Lovell Kirk drives hard inside. Mark it up. And hand the man the bonus. He's going to the line to shoot for three. 5.56 to play. One point game. So Lovell Cook could lock this game up now at 70 apiece. Wow. Been here before. Yeah, and that's a fourth foul as well on McSwiggan. So a few problems now for uh, coach Matt Newby to ruminate on in the next few minutes. Balls have used one timeout in the quarter. McSwiggan now drives hard to the hole. And uh, he is going to go to the line to add the bonus. Wow. It's up and down stuff here. Extraordinary. Absolutely yeah. extraordinary. It could be another one of those nights. The way it's going, it's pingy. It's yeah, it's reached that. It's yeah. reached the kind of... Uh, We've been here before, haven't we? We have been here before. It's reached that point where now you don't know which way it's going to go. But we did say, you know, you know, up through the gears. And you said w w win or lose maybe in that third quarter. But it hasn't really panned out that way. They matched each other pound for pound pretty much. Yeah. I would say Surrey have edged it, you know, certainly in this fourth quarter so far. Cook, he drives inside. No good this time. And I guess with another game tomorrow afternoon, the last thing Wolves are going to want is a, another quadruple overtime game tonight. Josh McSwigan now, he's backing down. Well, he dumps it off to Johnson Thompson. Everyone losing the handle on the ball, but they yeah. get it back out to Martin Bartnick. McSwigan, Williams... This time Williams drives hard and finds the two points. Everyone else keeps themselves out of trouble. Scorchers have got three fouls now on that side of the scoreboard. It's 5.07 to play in the fourth quarter. Four-point game. It's Walsh now for Surrey. Beautiful pass inside to Lovell Cook. He is fouled by uh, Jordan Williams. Yeah. So second foul for Williams. Nothing that's going to concern him too much, that's for sure. So it's two from the line for Cook. He's like the front of that ring, hasn't he? Yeah. Sort of check it's still there yeah. for each shot. We'll just we'll double check it's not going to fall off. We'll just make sure we just glance it, get it to wipe its feet on the way in. Marvel Cook, another really experienced player. Brought in by Creon Raftopoulos. Tola Akiki. That's a good match up with Kalin. Beautiful work to find his way inside. And uh, He did that earlier on. He... Uh, he, he, he obviously feels that he can uh, he can post it post him up. Uh, they, uh, they looked him off in the first half, and I noticed that. And he's just, just gone and run exactly the same play, and this time they found him for the net result. Well, top of us gets it to Rickman oh. for the jam. Sorry, aren't going to go away. Are they? Sorry, are going absolutely nowhere. They want the points out of this game for a certain. Williams thought about it. He goes in to Akiki, Johnson Thompson, they go out to Martin Boutnick, he puts up the triple, no good, too long, Boutnick collects the rebound, back inside to Akiki, who this time finds those two points off the window, 4.03 to play, four point ball game, three fouls apiece, so far, fourth quarter, that's one of those uh, numbers that can make the difference down the stretch, yeah, so, it's an, uh, Sideline Surrey possession. And that scoreboard, as somebody famously once said, lighting up like a darn Christmas tree. There are so many fouls on that board. All sorts of problems. And uh, wow, well, that's McSwiggan's. Uh, was that one McSwiggan? Yeah. He's just, gone. He has gone. fouled out of the game. So Josh McSwiggan is away to the bench. And that's it. Josh McSwiggan fouls out of the game. So Henry Wilkins now is going to have to step into those shoes. 
And subs as well for the uh, sorry Scorcher Skyler White. Checking in for Rickman. I like the look of Rickman. He's a really athletic. He's done a great job big. for them tonight. Yeah, absolutely. White goes inside to Teo. Teo he just couldn't get the ball away, but he finds his way to the bucket. Teo Ogadengbi, what a legend. Two-point ball game, would you believe it? 3.25 now to play. Taylor Akiki, and another foul, it's called. Sasan on four. Yeah, that's Sasan on four fouls. Inside of the last three and a half minutes of the game. So, I think Korean ref top of us will just take his chances now. Jordan Williams, Williams backing down on Hassan. Oh, it's a beautiful finish from Jordan yeah. Williams. Really professional stuff. Lovell Cook now. Four points of difference. Wolves desperately need to stop now. But if you give the ball to Teo there, pretty much any type of anything can happen. That was a great pass cross court to find. Skylar White this time. He can't connect from downtown. Akiki has it. He goes to Jordan Williams, and all there is left to do is for Jordan Williams to flush it down with 2.48 to play. And uh, I'm saying, pretty annoyed with that. Yeah. But it's. Uh, and he's got a technical, so he's Technical gone. foul. So Rashad Hassan has fouled out of the game. Well, so many twists and turns in this game. Unbelievable, but Worcester somehow back out to a six point ball game. Yeah, with free throws. Or a free throw. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's, that's, that is it. And Scorchers in the bonus. Yeah. To boot. Yeah, that, that could be the turning point. That, 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 that just loss of. Um, of discipline there for for Surrey, but uh, Wolves have shown a little bit of of, of fight. They've, they've kind of stepped it up a, a, le a level. They've, they they I think yeah. whether someone has just said, guys, look look at look at the time on the clock. We've yeah. got loads of times. We don't need to be nervous. But they they went through that stage when they kind of no one wanted the ball, and everyone was like looking yeah. for everyone else to take the shot and take the responsibility. And now they've kind of just settled down and just relaxed into it a little bit and said, well, actually, look, come on, we got this. We, we know we, 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 we're OK with this. Um, from a Surrey point of view, I think Surrey, you know, uh, they ne need to get Cook going again. I think he, he, he could do wol wol Wolves of damage. Obviously, Teo, you know, the thing is, he's, he, he always wants to get the ball on the right-hand side and then come back into the middle and cut back yep. on... T on, on, on uh, and that, that sort of stuff. So he always wants to start on this side of the court and then go back on the other side. Yeah. Well. And that's the way he's always worked. Well. They drained the additional points. But from the sorry point of view now, they, they, want, they, they want the next score. So now, Cook, core short. Oh, that was a great move. Corshaw, they just inhaled the defence and he's just found route one straight to the bucket. Really good work, Martin Bountnick now. 2.16 to play, Worcester just need to maintain their discipline. The Kiki for three, too long, great uh, rebound from uh, Jordan Williams. Johnson Thompson with a little teardrop floater. Corshaw. I think Corshaw just uh, upended himself really there. I think the referee agreed. 156 to play, and obviously we can't forget that uh, we're not for the sponsors and all the people who support all these BBL clubs here at Worcester, the University of Worcester, of course, Universal Display, Aston's coaches here in Worcester, Spirit Executive, Something Party, and the Worcester Knee and Hip clinic which I think you've been visiting Chris because uh, you're yeah. here on crutches with a bad knee yeah did you go to them I did you did excellent yeah. well I'm glad to hear it it's all the finest hit knee and hip clinic in the world <laughs> unless they are not a sponsor in which case they are not no but they are so they are absolutely 
Other knee and hip clinics are not available. Corshaw <laughs> 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 turns it into three. And that's what you're looking for right there. Five point game with 1.51 to play. You've got to love it. You've just got to love it. Martin Boutnick now, Jordan Williams. Got to maintain their discipline here, Worcester. The key keep Wilkins. Is it going to be a dagger? It isn't. Teo just picks it off. 132. There's time. Teo Ogan Denby drives inside. Didn't get the foul. Loses the ball. Akiki has it. And his body language says it all. He looks up to heaven and says, What else have I got to do to get that foul called? Akiki Williams. Williams. Well, he just goes straight. Root one to the basket. Great block. Just everyone needs to relax now. Five point game. We're in the last minute of the ball game. So, under this, we sense timeout on the way. Williams. No good. Airball by Martin Boutnick, 44 seconds to play. We've got Watch White for the three. Yeah, Skyler White. He's found his spot, but they go to Rickman, who flushes it down. And uh, Creon Raftopoulos doesn't go. Doesn't use the timeout. 36.5 seconds to play. Three-point ball game. Goodness me. With 30 seconds to go. Martin Boutnick. Just keeping a bit of space between himself and Corshaw. Got to keep a handle on the ball. Puts up uh, the two. No good. And that was a mistake. Lovell Cook drives inside. Lovell Cook. Tao has it now. Triple team. Tao off the window. And he's going to go to the line to add the bonus. And he didn't want the three. Wow. Mm. 84 to 85 with 10.5. Two seconds to go. And Wilkins has fouled out of the game in the process. So, Mika Elan checks back in. Mika with only one foul to his name. Mm. The young guy from California. If it goes in, are we a timeout, I expect? I think uh, it will definitely be a timeout, and Tao ain't going to miss no. it from there. No timeout, so play on. Eight seconds. Must that need a score? Otherwise, we are going to OT, and they've lost the ball, and a foul is called. Well, I never. 2.2 seconds. So, well, Corshaw is uh, scratching his head. We're scratching our heads as well. But we can VOR that for you. A VAR, not VOR. VOR. No, VOR, I think you use that in airliners so that you don't crash. All oh, right. <laughs> so that you know where you are. <laughs> but we can VAR that for you, dear, uh, dear viewer. 2.2 seconds to play. And uh, I, I've got to be honest, I didn't really see what the referee called it for. And it was a scramble for sure. But it's put Martin Boutnick on the line. So if he sinks these two... And he makes the first of those. And that is the cruelest of twists for Surrey. Mm. Martin Boutnick. Timeout, I think. If he makes the second, yeah. Timeout yes. coming from uh, Ratopoulos. Yeah, smart play by Boutnick. Skyler White has it. And that's the end of the game. And there's the final buzzer. They never got to the timeout. And smart, Worcester have taken play by yeah, the... Uh, Slenderest of victories, 86 to 85. That's all she wrote. It's the first competitive game of the season. We hope you've enjoyed the coverage with us here tonight. Uh, check out the Plymouth Raiders uh, social channels for the coverage of tomorrow's game down there in Plymouth. Chris, thank you very much as ever for your input. And uh, we will see you, God willing, next time. Bye for now. <laughs>